Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to Radku Tarot and uh, in this whole video we are going to check on Pisces, Sun, Moon and as well Rises, Rising, I'm sorry, Rises, Rising and uh, as well um, kind of like their experiences that they are going to go through into the upcoming week which is October uh, 26th to uh, November 1st, 2020. And uh, in case you are interested in a personal reading uh, with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a website, my website, that is, uh, from which you can uh, purchase and schedule such. And uh, as well, if you want to dive into tarot science, if I may say it that way, I'm offering as well classes which you can purchase on the very same website as well. So with that being said, Moving to the spread straight away here, which is a eight card tarot spread contains two layers. And uh, for the purpose of the video or to make it a little bit easier on myself, I'm going to turn the first layer first, which will describe your romance, uh, your um, love, your relationship, interpret it first. And then I'm going to turn the uh, second layer that is focused on your career manifestation which is going to describe your job, your uh, private business, etc., etc. Just so, you know, I don't get distracted if I turn everything over straight away. So let's uh, have a look here. The Wow, the first card is going to be the Ten of Swords, followed by the Six of Swords itself. Uh, moving next, we do have the Tree of Wands and the last one. Oh my God, that is going to be Tree of Cups. Well, that's a tough one to read, I mean, not um, a tough one to experience. Even though you do have the Ten of Swords, it's not as bad as it looks. Um, I can guarantee you that, okay? So what we have throughout the week is that uh, your influence over um, your situation in terms of love and romance will start becoming bigger and bigger, or your influence is gonna grow. And uh, you're going to be scared by it for what it seems. So the week itself is going to, well, I will say it that way. The week, the week itself is going to call you out to cut the, the BS, to pretty much be straightforward, to say what you have to say, to do what you have to do. And fearing for it, and, and let's be true to ourselves here, the fear, especially for those that are just getting along with someone you know, uh, is going to be, what if that person denies me? Well, the very least you are going to know about it and you ain't going to waste your time anymore with that person, since if they are to deny you now, they are to deny you all the time, right? Because let's face it, we know in the very first couple of hours are we want to be with somebody or we don't right these things that people fall in love slowly but steadily you know and change of hearts that people have happens on the movie when you interact with somebody you pretty much know yes i can be with that guy or with that woman no i, I don't want to be with that guy or with that woman right so yeah, this uh, this week calls you to cut the BS and pretty much say what you have to say, do what you have to do. Uh, that's will pretty much going to stir the things in either direction. And uh, for what it seems, whichever direction you get or you strive yourself toward is not going to be something that you are going to, how can I say... Well, the expression is die for, but it kind of sounds really morbid. So let's focus on the uh, last couple of cards into this upper layer of the reading. And we do have the Tree of Wands and the Tree of Cups. So um, by the end of the week, your emotions, your feelings, and above everything else as well, your vision is to be shared, okay? So even if the things doesn't work around with the person that's you have to say something to, uh, by the end of the week, you are going to have a similar vision with someone else. So you, you, you are going to be rewarded that you haven't wasted your time. Should the things work out and, you know, you get deeper and deeper into your romantic relationship, then with those two cards, the, the things are pointing that 
you know your situation is going to start developing exactly to your expectation and that's a bum that's not a bummer all right because you already made your point you already uh give it to the world and not just only to the world but as well to your uh to your person of interest to your wife to your husband to understand that you do have an expectations and those expectations has to be met at least to a certain extent and that is exactly what is happening and above everything else you have overcame the challenge of fear which is all that you gotta do throughout the week itself and once again if you got yourself denied you should not mourn over it because that denial is coming now tomorrow or two weeks from now no matter what you do for people don't fall in love just like that they i mean people don't change their heart just like that okay if they don't want to be with you they don't want to be with you period so uh moving next we do have uh our your career prices your career or rather like uh professional manifestation the first card we do have is going to be the page of cups followed by the page of a pentacles uh moving next we do have the hermits and the last one that is to be the world so these cards are speaking for a certain transition that is going to be the best thing ever happening um, recently to you. Transitioning in terms of um, career performance, that is. Um, uh, unfortunately, there will be a very close person to you that will be unable to keep up with the transition for the transition will require from everybody that is involved in it to change pace not just only to change pace but as well to readopt new positions or if we can say to readopt new um new ways or a new performances etc etc uh that will make you do a crucial self analysis of what you are capable of how you can how you can accomplish it and when that could be accomplished or simply said instead of being attentive to the details that are pretty much negligent negligible i'm sorry you are going to put your sight toward the overview instead and uh opting that the way that the future looks in terms of your career will connect to you much emotionally much better than the current situation and for that reason you are going to start positioning yourself into this transition in better way to assimilate the change that it is looming on the horizon which unfortunately will be impossible for that person for they feel that they have to devote everything they got into now rather than to look into the future itself no different than if you are playing on the stock market you know and you kind of like see the flags that certain stocks are gonna go up but certain stocks are gonna go high and you have to reposition your um uh, how can I say your assets from that stock that is about to go down into another one and you are playing with somebody else into the stock market that person is not going to see the same thing for they are going to be devoted to the stock that their assets already are but you are to see the change and you will know what you have to do in order to capitalize on it which by the way is going to feel very very natural to you we do have the hermit here into the third position which points that you're going to have your green light you're going to have your cue if you will you're going to have that mark or that signal that your time has come to make money to be productive to to, to i don't know how to say it to find your path moving forward uh moving forward into into your career um with the hermits into the uh into the third position um it's not unlikely to sever partnerships and if that's what you gotta do here in order to capitalize best on the change that it is looming on the horizon it will be for the greater good because with the hermits the people that have applauded you before not all of them are going to be around that includes as well um close partnership for with the hermit in order to make the best move forward uh you have to withdraw from the ideas of 
from the ideas of others and ideas of the world as well. Speaking in order to um, in order to make the best approach for you because now we are talking about you. Speaking about the world, we do have the world at the end, which uh, kind of like speaks about wrapping up the whole thing and being aware that you did the best case scenario for yourself. It's all that there is. As well, the world is a sign that whatever you accomplish throughout the week itself, it's here to stay. So I do hope that you realize what is at stake at the start of the week. You have a foresight. You will have a foresight whether or not you listen it uh, or not. Okay, so um, are you going to believe to the foresight you got or not is entirely up to you. But whatever you accomplish, doing nothing is also accomplishment, but, uh, accomplishment, believe it or not, it will be here to stay. So I hope you uh, Pisces are going to do the best maneuvers because you're going to have the chance to do so throughout the week so you can end up I would say lucrative and as well very successful going down the road in terms of your career. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly general tarot reading for Pisces for the upcoming week. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and um, we are to see each other around. Until then, bye.